Well, hello there! I am your host, um, Mr. McSepterstein. This is Castlevania, Aria of Sorrow, and I'm gonna make my name Spiffy. There you go. So, the year is 2035, Japan. Crowds of spectators are gathering around in anticipation of the first full solar eclipse of the 21st century. My name is Soma Cruz, and I'm a high school exchange student studying abroad in Japan. I live near the Hokuba Shrine, an ancient shrine with strong ties to Japanese mythology. Mina Hokuba, the only daughter of the shrine's caretaker, is both my classmate and childhood friend. I started making my way to the shrine to see the solar eclipse with Mina, but the staircase seemed longer than usual. When I finally managed to get through to the shrine gate, my senses began to dim. The pitch black s sun... I can't read the rest of that because the whiteness like blurs it out because of the moon being in the way. Actually, that's the sun, but it looks like the moon, but whatever. What is that familiar shape we see there? Hmm. Familiar. Oh. Hmm. Hey, looks like he's coming too! Where am I? Whoa! <laughs> what happened? So you've decided to join us. Did you have a nice nap? Huh? Who the heck are you? It's okay, Sama. His name's Jenya Raricado. Skip the introductions. I have a few questions and I need answers now. Go... go ahead? Why have you come here? Well, me and Mina and I... Hang on, where are we? We're in Dracula's castle. Huh? Dracula's castle? Are you telling me we're in Europe? No, we're inside the solar eclipse. Inside the eclipse? You're insane. Do you think I'm a fool? Soma, listen to him. He's telling you the truth. What the heck are you talking about? Give me an explanation. Well, it's like this. Huh, an enemy! Oh my god, the girl died! Gosh darn it! Damn, protect the girl! Yeah! Come back where you came from! Bish! Basically, what we just did there is we just knifed the soul of that bastard out of him, and he's not even alive. So, that really does not make sense! What? What was that thing? So it has awakened. What? What has? The music suddenly started when I started speaking, so something must be up. The spirit you just... Uh, the, bleh, the spirit of the creature you just killed entered your body. You now have the power to absorb the abilities of the monsters you kill. Why would I have that power? You have gained the power. Now you must go to the master's chamber. For what reason? Do you not, do you not wish to return to your... You, with your friend to your own world? I should look at what I'm saying? Of course I want to go back. Go to the master's chamber, then you will understand everything. But I can't just leave Mina here like this. I mean, look, she's freaking hopeless. No need to worry about her. I'll put up a protective barrier so rapists can't kill her. Or rape her. But death will most certainly find those who stay here too long. So I do have a timer on this thing. So you can only s you are the only one who can save her from a painful death. So I suggest you run fastly. And what will you do? I am just gonna stand here like a hobo because I have nothing else to do. So go forward and don't turn backwards. That basically sums up the intro of the game. So now we're playing as Soma Cruz and we have nothing else to do. Castle corridor. Basically, what's in this room is uh, pointless amounts of zombies. Now. Just to mention now, I am cheating on this file. Just only by one thing. Well, it's actually two things. So, and that is increased luck and n infinite mana. The reason why is because I get to show off the abilities and be a little bit more helpful. Now, increased luck, you will not begin with this, ability, with this amount of luck or mana points. But, basically, what luck does is it increases the drop chances of rare items and it increases the appearance of souls. Now, souls in this game work along the same sort of aspect as cards in the um, other Castlevania games. 
basically, with each soul you get, you get different abilities. And these different abilities will really, really help you in the long run because you get to do different things. And, well, they'll just help you a lot. So, and there are three different types of souls. There's red ones, which are attacks. Uh, attacks. I'm going to equip the bat ones. This one's pretty good. We don't have a blue one. We don't. We actually do have a yellow one, but I'm not going to equip those yet because we're going to get some new ones. Now I'm going to equip that cape because the cape increases our defense. Now, so um, the difference between the souls, the skeleton will be the skeletons will be quite annoying. But the difference between the souls is that, ow, the red ones are attack powers, blue ones are. Um, I don't know what to call them, but you, we'll see an example of that in a second. Ow. Gah! Stop moving back, you son of a... There you go. Uh, so the bat one is kind of useless, so we're going to equip a skeleton one and change our sword, because our sword's not long enough. That is indeed what she said. I just did equip nothing. There. So that's a boss door. We'll be going there in a second. Keep, seriously, make up your mind where you want to go, you stupid piece of poo. Now as you're coming up here, duck. And don't make sure that Axe Lord Armor Axe doesn't hit you. Like I did. So you can't really go up any further. So head to the boss door. And this is the first boss of the game and probably the easiest one. I don't know why I equipped the skeleton thing, because it's rather pointless. So this boss, being probably the easiest one in Castlevania history, has only two attacks, and both of which you just saw. You can't kill me! You know why? Because I just killed you first. <laughs> If you can get its soul first, which is a really, really improbable chance of doing that, you will gain the ability to use that big bone attack, and you can bash people with it. Now let's save. Saving is really helpful, because you know why? It restores everything you've done. Now that's a peeping eye. Now these peeping eyes are rather useless in the game, since they really don't do that much. And, of course, there's a breakable wall right there. Now, souls will not come as easily as they are for me right now. Like, what I'm doing right now is, I'm have, is I have to farm this one's soul. Farming, basically, I mean I have to keep going back and killing it so I actually get its soul. It'll get me more experience, but it'll also eventually get me its soul. So, this one's really useful, and it's, and it's um, a yellow one. So basically, it's a status effect. That's what the yellow ones really are. Blue ones, um, you'll actually see now, because there's a blue soul up here, which we'll be collecting. The music is really great in this game. So this is the first blue soul. Falling speed slows down and jump distance increases. Now, mainly... The really useful thing about this is it allows you to, well, A, jump farther. So now we can explore new areas. And if you really want to, there's a little glitch thing. That uh, I can't really do because I don't have the double, double jump ability yet. But if you, there's a little ledge there that if you uh, can get on it, you can actually uh, skip a section of the game and head straight to the clock tower. But it's really unadvised. Because A, you'll need the experience, and B, you'll need the abilities that we have to get. So. Kill a bone archer. There's another one up here. Blue crows. Blue crows are probably the more one of the more um, annoying enemies in the game because they really don't do much. Now that we have the flying armor, we can jump across here. Now that's a white dragon. 
Now what you want what you want to do is best best effect for these guys is to fight them from behind, but be careful because as you see there, when you hit him, its head comes back. And it will hit you if you're not being careful and if you're being a dumbass. So you gotta try and hit it and kill it like that. So you can't explore up there. These are zombie soldiers. And its soul lets you throw hand grenades. And that guy's walking into me again. I should really decide to jump rather than attack these guys, but whatever. Whatever floats my boat, which apparently everything sinks it, but... Leather plate. The first actual piece of armor that you get in the game, and with that, we will end this part. So, thank you for watching, and come back for the next part.